Hey guys, Marcin here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so quite unexpectedly, I think, I don't actually know if people were on the lookout for this to drop this soon, um, but JP has just tweeted out the super easy A details for physical Goku Black. Now, obviously for global players, we still have no idea whether this is going to come out on global anytime soon. Um, you know, we've discussed already in many videos the issue with uh, JP getting the celebration that was a global first with a bunch of extra content that wasn't on, available on global and how, you know, that is kind of annoying. It doesn't help build towards the sync. It also raises the question of like, if this stuff is releasing in the Goku Black celebration for JP, but global has already had the Goku Black celebration, then obviously it raises that question of, well, then where does this content drop for global? Because we've already had the celebration where it came out on JP. So unfortunately, as of right now, I don't have any news for you in that sense. It's only been tweeted out by JP. We have no idea whether uh, it's gonna come out on Global anytime soon or not. Hopefully it does. Um, same day would be great. Even if it was like the Gammas or something where it's like a week later, I think that would still be fine. Um, this will be a massive buff for Physical Rosé and the Super Bosses team. So very much looking forward to this actually coming out on Global. Hopefully we can get it before the anniversary. Because I've said many times I really want to see Physical Rosé and like the buffed Super Bosses team and all that stuff for the anniversary content. But if, of course, as soon as we find out if and when this is coming to... I say if, it will eventually... As soon as we find out when this is coming to global, I will, of course, let you guys know in another news update video. So shout out to Goresh. Uh, we do have the translations here from our boy. So we're going to go ahead and read these out here. Um, we do have uh, attack and defense 50% per key sphere obtained. I should say, actually, we were looking at him on stream. Um, just to, for those of you who don't remember, he got his easy a long time ago. In terms of the global version, he does immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers attack and defense with his super. And remember, their super attack effects don't change. So immense damage and then greatly lowering attack and defense. The greatly lowering attack is obviously useful because there are some events where you can do that now. And then previously, his passive was literally just 15% attack and defense per orb. Uh, key one with each attack received. And then if there's a Goku family enemy, he's a rainbow orb changer. Is basically it, right? And then, of course, on Global, he gives Extreme Class Allies three key, and on JP, he doesn't. Now, with his Super Easy A, it's attack and defense 50% per key sphere obtained. Now, that's a pretty large number for a New King style character, 50% per orb. Then he gets 150% defense when attacking, when collecting three or more key spheres. Now, you know, as with every unit, I've seen people immediately saying like, oh no, he's like the worst out of the four super easy A's and so on and so forth. But the thing you have to think about is that Goku Black, obviously his links aren't shown on this post or anything, but all Goku Black characters, including the base one, have big bad bosses. So if he's getting 50% defense per orb obtained, then he has 25% extra from big bad bosses. That defense 150% when attacking, that's of the number that you get once you've picked up all the orbs. So if you're getting like 10 orbs with him or something, and he's getting 500% attack and defense, he's getting big bad bosses, then he's getting 150% of that number. So like if you've picked up your orbs and he has like 500k defense, then he's getting 750k defense on super, which puts him at 1.2 million. Now obviously in the current meta, that means he's not gonna be eating like super attacks to the face but he'll be tanking essentially all normals in the game. And then even bosses like STR Blue Gogeta from the anniversary or Ink Kid Boo, who can get up to doing over a million damage with their normals, he greatly lowers attack and they can be attack lowered. So his defense seems interesting. Then we also have key one and attack and defense 30% with each attack received up to key plus five and attack and defense 150%. So, once he's received five attacks, he's getting an extra 150% attack and defense. That's going to be start of turn. So that will obviously then increase the amount of defense that he's getting from those orbs, which then, of course, further increases his total and further increases the what that 150% defense on super is actually going to be giving him. So that's really good. Um, then randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow orbs, plus an additional attack and defense 10% per key sphere obtained 
when there is a Goku family enemy, or when all allies attacking in the same turn are on the super bosses category. So this right here is the massive buff that he needed, right, to help physical Rosé. Because before, he only rainbow orb changed if there was a Goku family enemy, whereas now he rainbow orb changes as if the whole rotation is super bosses, which is exactly what you want for physical rosé units like on broly's team like the lr broly trio who benefit from orbs as well like this is going to be very very good plus you get the extra 10 percent per orb obtained so now if we're getting those 10 orbs it's actually 600 percent and then 150 percent of that on super so i think he's going to be looking on like his best turns especially if you have other support like he could be easily over 2 million defense on a super um which is going to be cool for tanking most things, right, outside of some of the big supers. So that's very, very good. Uh, then we have chance to perform a crit 20% each time he receives three hits in battle. Um, that doesn't seem to have a cap, at least from the translation. So technically, you'd have to get, I mean, you do have to get hit, what, 15 times. But if he gets hit 15 times, he has a 100% chance to crit, in theory. So that's good. And then randomly changes key spheres of a certain type other than physical to physical when there's a super class enemy. So that's interesting because he changes. He does say, though, he changes a random key sphere, but it doesn't say other than physical. <laughs> so in theory, he could create a bunch of physical orbs and then change all of them to rainbow. Although I think because of the order of the way his passive is listed, it does the rainbow orb changing first. So technically, he could change all physical orbs to rainbow, and then the other part of his passive would create other physical orbs. So that's interesting. Um, and then he gives extreme class allies three key and defense 50, 30%. So yeah, he's giving the three key now on JP. He's also giving 30% defense. And remember, it doesn't say other allies as well. So that means that he also gets 30% extra defense from his own support. So... Yeah, in theory, he will actually be very, very good defensively. I'm not sure about his attack stats. Obviously, being a nuking-style unit, it's all going to depend on the amount of orbs obtained. But in the setups that you're going to want to run him on, he's going to be rainbow orb-changing. So I think he could be very good. I don't think his attack stats are going to be insanely high. But with a decent amount of orbs, he should be easily hitting over like 10 mil. But then, like I say, on his best turns he's potentially going to be getting up to like 2 million defense, which makes him able to tank all normals in the game, especially from the bosses that he can attack lower. And then obviously big supers. I mean, there's not a lot of supers in the game that do like 3 million damage. There are a few, but um, even against like a fully built up Int Kid Boo, he's got type advantage as well. And of course, he's greatly lowering on super. So, I mean, he looks like he could be very, very good. Now, in terms of his build, um, because he can build up to essentially having infinite crit, um, I think full additional is going to be the way to go, get the extra attack lower. Um, now, he does build up crit chance by being hit, but you probably just want to give him dodge as well for when it comes to those big supers, because ideally he doesn't want to be taking those. But he should be tanking all normals. He's providing all allies with 3 key and 30% extra defense as well as the rainbow orb changing, which makes him a super good addition for helping out physical Rosé. So he definitely seems like he could be very, very solid. So let me know what you guys think of physical Goku Black Super Easy A down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on him coming to global. Do you think we will see it within the next like week or so? Obviously, it's only just been announced that the new stage is coming to JP. So that usually means it's probably coming out in a couple of days time for JP. Um, but yeah, who knows when he's going to come out for global. Let me know all your thoughts about physical Goku Black and his super easy A down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.